I'm pleased to say that I've got a special guest who will give me an input in this as well, uh, as I'm joined in the studio now by the Mayor of Macclesfield, Councillor Fiona Wilson. And Fiona, welcome to um, Cheshire Silk Radio. How are you? I'm very well, Eddie. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for inviting me. Wonderful. Now, it's always great to have uh, extra people in here because sometimes I'm obviously sat in the room on my own. Uh, but I've got to ask you, you were elected back in May 2022. How has the year been so far for you and what have been your highlights of your time? Well, it's been a really, really brilliant year. Um, and the highlights for me um, are my first civic event was a centenary picnic in South Park, uh, where 500 people attended to enjoy an afternoon tea. Uh, we were celebrating the South Park being 100 years old. Um, it was created, the park, by Alderman William Frost, um, um, in 1922 and he made a great effort to bring that park for the people of Macclesfield. Perhaps speak a bit more about looking forward there because we've got great plans for the pavilion. Um, one of the uh, great honours I had this year was to proclaim the accession of our new king following the, the death of Her Majesty the Queen. Um, it's something that hasn't happened for 70 years and so it fell to the Mayor of Macclesfield to, to make that proclamation in the marketplace. And as I say, it was a great honour for me to do that. Uh, actually, it's, obviously, it was a sad time for us. Absolutely. But um, it was an honour to be able to read that proclamation that is, is hundreds of years old, the history behind it all. Um, I think a really brilliant thing was that Macclesfield Town Council and the people of Macclesfield, working together, delivered a gold award for Britain in Bloom, uh, which we were very pleased about. Um, and, of course, the Remembrance Parade in November, where we remember the fallen of Macclesfield in, in many conflicts over the years. I felt this year it was much, uh, for far more people there this year uh, coming to remember. And a, a lot of young people, children, scouts, guides came along, which I thought was a very positive thing. Yeah, because I think there's a lot more um, education and information around things like Remembrance Day, isn't there? A lot more people are discussing it at school. Um, and obviously, like you say, going back to the... Uh, proclamation uh, a, t a terribly sad time for for the country but from from your perspective I imagine something that um, will live with you forever uh, well yes I never thought I would be mayor let alone proclaiming a new king to, to the people of our town so it was uh, it was an it was an honor a sad occasion but um, I was proud to be able to do that for the people of Macclesfield and the town council now obviously you do a lot of um, amazing things to to work with uh, Maxfield to promote the town uh, you've got a theme that you work to can you tell us a bit more about that yes I chose the theme our community stronger together because as a councillor I realized very quickly um, well I knew already of course that the community runs on volunteers and we've got loads and loads of really brilliant volunteers in Macclesfield doing fantastic things for the people of our town so I chose that theme uh, I, want to th I want to thank all the volunteers and organizations who do so much for Macclesfield um, and um, I also um, have the role as you say to promote Macclesfield uh, as mayor and uh, the town council organises many events um, in the town centre to bring more people into the town centre for example our recent step into Christmas event 7,000 more people attended wow. Macclesfield town centre than the previous Saturday um, to, uh, to, to support local businesses and to take part <coughs> in the Christmas events. Um, and I do school visits. Uh, I, grow, I love school visits because kids <laughs> ask you the sort of questions that, um, that, that, uh, that grown ups don't. And it's, it's brilliant uh, this, to hear the questions they ask. Type questions you, you're never prepared for. Uh, well, yeah, yes, uh, the, the, not the, the, the second time you have a little bit more <laughs> think about it. But I mean, nothing, nothing difficult to deal with. But it's really great the things that, that, that young people ask you. And um, I've been to some primary schools where the questions actually are very well thought out. And then secondary schools, people are more concerned in current affairs. But uh, it's always nice to go and, and talk to young people. And I've been doing quite a few care home visits, and that's been great as well. We keep getting invited back. I think it's because I sing and have a dance with the residents. I think that's what it is. <laughs> so obviously there's a wide variety of things um, that you've been doing, but also Christmas is upon us. And you mentioned about the amazing... Uh, volunteers and some of the support that you get not only from uh, the council but obviously people in and around Maxfield and there's a few special things happening isn't there over the Christmas period with some amazing um, I suppose representations of how these volunteers and these supporters are really going to make Christmas festive for everybody. Absolutely and I want to do a shout out for a couple of organisations that we've shared on our Maxfield Town Council Facebook page so go down there and take a look. Um, one of them is a is a, we've done, there's a group called Coping at Christmas, and we've shared a whole range of, of different services available for people who need extra support over Christmas. 
And then the other event I want to do a shout out for is Raw, Reach Out and Recover. And they're doing a Christmas dinner at the United Reform Church in, in uh, Park Green in Macclesfield. And that's at two o'clock on Christmas Day for Christmas dinner. You might want to go down and ask them what they think about Christmas dinner. That might uh, be an option. Might be, might be worth doing. But uh, all are invited. And that, that's aimed at people who will be on their own on Christmas Day. So I think I want to shout out about those two things happening in, uh, for, over the Christmas period and encourage people, if they need some support, to, to, to check those out. I think it's times like this where, obviously, um, there are people that are going to be on their own over Christmas. Mm. And, it, and it is a sad time because everybody should have some type of family or um, festive joy to look forward to. So I think it's amazing when we've got volunteers and charities in and around a local town that can do that. Um, but I've got to ask you, uh, Fiona, what is, um, what's the exciting plans or what can Maxford expect in 2023? Uh, so in 2023, looking forward, I mentioned earlier about the uh, centenary picnic in the park. Uh, the town council um, has taken over the lease of the pavilion in the park. Uh, we had a big consultation in August where hundreds and hundreds of people came to tell us what they thought about the five different designs we put forward. Um, two designs were most popular and the architects have blended those into one design. Um, so that's now going through the planning process and we will be, um, we, we will be starting, I hope, um, sort of March-ish, spades in the ground to um, build the new pavilion. Um, it's, it's an environmentally eco-friendly project. So um, we're using the existing slab that the pavilion's built on um, and we'll be building up in a brand new pavilion with a cafe, with inside toilets inside, toilets outside, event space, and places for events like weddings and uh, and, and parties. I have this vision of people being able to get married <laughs> in the bandstand and have civil, civil ceremonies in the bandstand and then have a party in the pavilion afterwards. But I'm really excited about that because South Park is one of my very favourite places. I'm a runner, so I'm often in South Park running around, and uh, I'm also an, a run director of Park Run. So every Saturday morning, you'll find me in the park um, volunteering at Park Run. So I think that that is a brilliant project for us. Um, and um, we're also, the town council is um, has has agreed funding, £110,000. We've also supported a grant for what's called a Changing Places Toilet, which is a fully accessible toilet. Uh, and we're going to be working with Cheshire's Council to provide toilets for public use at the back of the indoor market. It's a, it's a hot topic in Maxfield at the moment and Absolutely. we're doing our very level best to deliver on this. The town council doesn't own any land in the town centre so we can't build toilets without cooperation with others. We've had good cooperation with Cheshire's council and uh, that project is still coming to, to fruition but the town council has put forward £110,000 to pay towards that. Wow, it sounds like 2023 is going to be an amazing year mm. for Maxfield. Now obviously these are serious conversations and it's amazing that we get the opportunity um, to spend some time with yourself, Fiona. But I've got to ask you a serious question. Christmas dinner. This is a debate that will go on and on. Now, my first question to you regarding Christmas dinner is what is on a traditional Christmas dinner in your house? Uh, turkey, all the trimmings, stuffing, roasties, carrot and turnip mash, parsnips, a recent addition at the request of oh, my... Well, not a recent... Roasted? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, although I hate them, but my, my husband's very fond of them, so that, that's a whole other story. Sprouts, lots and lots of really thick, brilliant gravy, and Christmas pudding and, and brandy, brandy sauce. So now, very traditional. Very traditional. So I've got to ask you the big question. It's the hot topic on Cheshire mm. Still Radio at the moment. Mm. Would you put a Yorkshire pudding on your Christmas dinner? Well, I never have in the past, but that's given me food for thought because I would never refuse a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to share some time with you this morning. Thanks ever so much for joining me uh, on Silk Breakfast. And on behalf of everybody at the radio station, I would like to wish you and your colleagues a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2023. Thank you very much. And can I say the same to you and to the people of Macclesfield on behalf of myself and Macclesfield Town Council, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Thanks very much.